Hello, Kim Townsville here. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. This video is designed for high school students and college students. During your journey through high school or especially through college, you have basically two options. You can extinguish yourself or you can distinguish yourself. It's your choice. Of course, you can fall many places in the middle, but my advice to you is don't do this one. Don't extinguish yourself. You want, to dis you want to distinguish yourself. So let's talk about how you can do that. Put this one aside. What do I mean by extinguishing yourself? Well, we have students who come in, I teach at a university, and if we have students who come in with really bad attitude, they look like they've just rolled in out of bed, which many of them have. They're wearing like really sloppy clothes. they got their hair all pulled up on top of their head. They're tardy. They're they look like little eighth graders, they're un unorganized, can't keep up with due dates, asking silly questions that are, you know, clearly in the syllabus or ha have been explained, on their cell phones all the time, getting up out of class to, to do, we don't know what they're doing, but it looks like they're just uh, not taking the class that they paid for. So those people are extinguishing themselves. When someone comes to one of my classes and has that type of behavior, they have given me no evidence, no evidence that they're going to be a successful employee. They give me no evidence that they're gonna represent my university well in the workforce. They've kind of extinguished themselves. Remember that paying for college is like paying for any type of training class. You're not paying for an outcome. You're paying for an opportunity. And what you do with that opportunity is up to you. We're there to help you be successful, but you're not guaranteed a success just because you put a class on a credit card or a student loan or paid for it out of pocket. That's no guarantee of success. Just like if I take a cake decorating class, it does not mean I'm gonna be able to decorate cakes and be able to sell them. I'm paying for the opportunity and the training, but what I do with it, whether I extinguish myself or distinguish myself from the class, it's gonna be a, basically up to my skill level and the effort that I put into it. So let's talk about how you can distinguish yourself. When students come in who they're properly groomed, they're properly attired, they obviously have got their business handled, they, they turn their assignments in on time, they're keeping up with uh, assignments, they're not messy, they're not sloppy, they're handling their businesses. The student's taking care of his or her business. Then that person is going to be more towards the distinguished part. I'm going to be more likely to write someone a reference letter or to serve as a positive reference for somebody who's on the distinguishing side. For this person, I'm going to decline. If I can't say something nice about a person to a, a potential uh, employer or someone who's looking for uh, candidates for graduate school or looking for candidates for scholarships and awards, I'm just not going to say anything. And silence speaks volumes in those cases. So how can you distinguish yourself? If you really want to stand out while you're in high school or while you're, especially while you're on the collegiate level, there's some things that you need to take, you, that you need to take into account. First of all is your attitude. You need to have a positive, can-do attitude. Second of all is your attire. You are paying for training for a profession. You are training for a profession. So I know that people in 100 and 200 level classes when you're getting your general studies done, those are the classes you can go to maybe that you can look like you just rolled out of bed, that you can play, you know, hey, I'm a college, you know, whatever. But when you get to those 300 and 400 level classes, those are the people that are looking at you. Those are the people that are your advisors. Those are the people that are networked into that career that you're seeking. And those are the people that are going to either say, yes, this person was like awesome in class, time management, grooming attire, the way that this person handled themselves, or they're going to say, So you want us to be able to say positive things about you, so give us positive things to say. Also, another good thing that you need to do is to network. Get involved in clubs, get involved in clubs that are looking for leaders, uh, get in there and do things, get your, get your name known, network with your advisors, network with your classmates. Your classmates are a huge resource for you. They're going to be the people out in the workplace that when they're working uh, in an agency and a position comes open. Most people are hired by word of mouth. I'm going to hire you because you know someone because that person kind of vouches for you. People get really, really good jobs. They're not, they're not just like posted in the want ads like, <laughs> like a lot of people like to say. Yes, they're posted on resources and things, but that, who you know, there's a lot to that. 
You also want to show that you have time management. You want to show people that you can manage your time and you want to show people that you can manage your task. You want to show people that you can handle your business. So to recap it, look at your attitude, check your attire and grooming, get involved with people, network, clubs, leadership, things like that. Make sure you have time management and make sure you have task management. So if you do those five things, I'm pretty sure that you're going to distinguish yourself and not extinguish yourself. Good luck to you and let me know how you're doing. Post any questions that you might have below. Post any ideas that you have for us on how we can do these things below. Share the video if you like. It's all free. It's all free. YouTube is free. And until next time, I look forward to your distinguished self. Bye.